all right let's talk about the base href base href this is like a very good programming practice if you have a website where users where sometimes you know you have links that get broken which means that you sometimes you create links that are no longer valid or viable for example the website that you link for especially with the absolute links the website that you are trying to link to your web page does no longer exist or it's done for repairment or any anything could happen and uh, the server could be down and stuff like that so what happens is you know one of the worst things that you can have the user experience while they're on your website is they experience a book link and they see the 404 page which is not a good idea at all okay it is a very bad idea and what you need to do is you need to make sure that your users are always always redirected back to the website okay and in order to do that you can declare the base href okay the base href it becomes the default url for all links on the page to start with okay by default means that if the link is not overridden which means if you define the code the following code here okay for example you have the head tag here usually goes in the head tag section and then you use the base tag okay base url is equal to for example the name of this website is http okay once i launch it to a web hosting company i purchase a website address and once i purchase website address i can use it like this green event managers.com okay and i close the inverted commas and i close the tag and i close the head tag this particular declaration is called base url declaration which means that if my website has any link okay the default address or the default url for that link is this one http green event managers.com okay which means that if any link is broken is not working i want you to bring the users back to this page now this is only going to work once the link the user is trying to click on is not working okay which means that default code is always overridden by explicitly declaring the direct address of that link created in your web page okay so if you have a website which leads to the English page, the French page, the home about us, portfolio. These are all the links available. Okay. For some reason, the contact page is not working. Okay. Are you working on the contact page and the user comes along and he hits the contact page? If it is not working, the base URL tag will come into play. Okay. And the base URL tag will bring the user back to this page. So this is like a good programming practice. It enables you to create stronger websites. Okay. And it's a professional looking approach. And I want all of you to use this approach in your websites. Okay. Always have this tag located in the head section of your web page. All right. Then with the base tag, that was easy. Let's talk about the target attribute. Okay. Let's do that in the next video coming next.